Hey guys, I'm Liam, you're watching Jeep Sheep TV, and behind me is a really cool looking non-Jeep vehicle that does Jeep things, built by Luke. Luke, what are we looking at here? Uh, this is a 1984 Land Rover Defender. I'll get crap for saying it's a Defender, but it's a, it's a 110, but we, everyone knows it is a Defender. Uh, and I custom built it from the ground up for a bullet liner here at SEMA. Cool. Well, I mean, I won't correct you because as far as I know, it's a Jeep looking vehicle that That's sips on tea just a little bit. So, okay, well, I'll hand you the mic and tell us all about your rig. Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, we got the call about two months ago that uh, they wanted my truck for SEMA. So I took uh, my wife's 84 Defender, tore it apart, and we built the full frame um, from the ground up. Custom suspension, air ride, as you'll see, uh, custom color, which is original uh, Land Rover color. And uh, we, we LS swapped it, of course. Um, but yeah, and we basically completely custom. It looks like a Defender, but it's really a full buggy underneath. So we'll take you around and check it out. 16 inches of uh, air ride travel, uh, all four corners. It's been four linked front and rear, tri double triangulated in the rear, uh, parallel in the front. It is not a mall crawler, uh, as, as most people will think it will be. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna take it all around the country. Uh, it's sitting on one ton axles, uh, the Dana 60 and the Sterling 10 and a half in the rear. Uh, we got ARB air lockers in it, chrome all the axle shafts, Dynatrack. Uh, it's been re-geared. Um, there's really nothing on this truck that is original British, but uh, I think we made it a little cooler. So we, uh, we have an LS3 sitting at about 550 horsepower at the crank with a ZF6 six-speed manual behind it. Rated at 26,000 GVW, so plenty beefy for this truck. Uh, behind that, we have a two speed Atlas transfer case um, built custom for this for the weight and the horsepower of the rig. Um, and like I said, we got 16 inches of travel. We kind of have it here in show mode, um, but it's uh, got some practical purposes. We can level it while towing. We should be able to tow around 20,000 pounds with this thing. The frame's built to one ton specs. Um, I'm going to pull a camper with it and everything. We pulled dirt bikes. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's the fully triangulated suspension, uh, all tube chassis. Um, like I said, it looks, it looks like a Defender, but is a, more of an ultra four car than anything. Built to go fast in the whoops. Um, so we'll, we'll take it on all the big trails. We're planning on doing the Rubicon. We'll be at King of the Hammer. Um, it's it, it's the, the prettiest truck that I, I've seen, and uh, we're gonna put, put the thing to the test. So I can't wait to get it on the trail and put miles on it, uh, ground up build. So we'll break it as we go and fix it along the way. All right, cool. That's really great, man. Yeah. I love that. So it's coated in like a truck bed liner, I'm assuming yep. it's yep. bullet liner. It's bullet liner. And uh, yeah, I mean, I had a couple other vehicles I, I coated personally with this and uh, they reached out and thought my crazy idea was cool. So they coded this for me um, and I love it. I mean, the product's insane. Uh, all you Jeep guys know. I mean, most of us don't care about beating stuff up, um, but if you care at all, this stuff is the way to go. I always joke that it is indestructible. You break everything under it, but the product itself is insane. So, you know, as as a as a customer and now a, an ambassador, I love the stuff, and you know, it's gonna it's gonna look the part and hopefully stay that way for a long time when we're wheeling it, scratching it. I mean, this thing's gonna be on every trail from from here to the East Coast. So we'll we'll put it to the test. Yeah, and I love that you actually wheel this. Now, the one thing we didn't look at was the interior, yep. and although it's mostly just lined, you've also got some some bling in there. It's very attractive yeah, interior. We'll, we'll bring you over there. Uh, that was one of my wife's requests. Was this is her vehicle? Uh, it had to be a bit of luxury, so I kind of did the pre-runner in luxury. I uh, have custom leather, everything handmade in England, where the truck's from, um, and then the entire interior is built by us, tube work. So. We'll check that out. It will be living space back here. Currently it's not. Obviously it was thrown a little bit together for the show, um, but that'll be built out for this season because we're gonna, we're gonna use it, we're gonna live in it, live in it. We're gonna take some trips in it. Um, but then up here we got full, still a right-hand drive. That'll freak some people out. Uh, but we went, uh, we went all out in there. Uh, it's, we, we did aftermarket AC, heat, so we'll be comfy on the trail, um, but we, uh, we spared no expense. Like I said, this was my dream car and I want something that would uh, last a lifetime and, and look the part. Like I said, we went, we went pre-runner style on it a little bit, meets rock crawler. Uh, there's nothing show about this thing. Despite it being shiny in this booth, it's going to get real muddy and uh, hopefully you guys can follow along with us. We just started a page for this my wife named it Sully the Defender. So uh, that's going to be on Instagram. Uh, and then there's Pine Metal Fab, that's my brother's shop and we built that. 
Uh, we built the whole truck with him. Um, so follow us along, we'll be wheeling Jeeps. He's got a one ton XJ. Uh, I got this thing and we're gonna put them to the test uh, all, the, all across the country, so. All right, well, thank you very much for showing us your beautiful build. Absolutely. And we will definitely follow along on the Instagrams and all of the other social medias Absolutely. that you're posting on. Yeah, if you see us on the trail, tag us and, uh, and say hey, because we're going to be out there. So, Awesome. All right, guys, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel, Jeep Sheep TV, and, and go check them out. Awesome. See you later. Yes.